Today we're going to look at how to make a blog post and do everything you can to make it um, rank well in the search engines, especially Google. So here's the blog post. We've already created it. So we've got a photo there at the top. and There's our topic, make money selling CBD. That's the phrase we're going to try and get good ranking for, make money selling CBD. And so We've got a few paragraphs in here and a picture and uh, a, a link here to Commission Junction and a link here to the affiliate page within this website. So let's look at what we did to do this. So first we go to posts and we're going to select all posts. And we find the post that we've created here. So I'm going to click on edit with Elementor. And now we can add things and change things. So here I'm going to click on basic and it shows me options that we have like the heading that's here, make money selling CBD. We use this heading and when we want to add text, we put in this text editor and then I'm, I added a picture using uh, this one on the left that says image just dragged that over here and it allowed me to add an image. So I'm going to go back for a second. Uh, I forgot. Now I'm going to, instead of edit with Elementor, I'm just going to click edit. So here is what the page looks like in the beginning. So we have to start with this before we start with Elementor. And there was something else up here. So I put in this heading. That's what I want it to say. And then we're using Yoast SEO down here. And here's our focus key phrase. That's the phrase we're trying to get good ranking for. So what I do is I just follow the directions that they give me. And so the SEO title, I made it long enough and it shows green a green bar here showing that I made the title long enough but not too long. The slug, make money selling CBD with hyphens between each one, it automatically created that for me based on the title that I put up here. So I didn't have to do that, it's just showing it there. And then the description, the description needs to begin with the thing I'm trying to get ranking for, my key phrase. So it begins with make money selling CBD the easy way. And then I wanted to repeat it one time. You can't repeat it any more than one time or it's keyword stuffing in Google will not like that. So then here on SEO analysis, I click the arrow and it will show me all the things that I did right. And if there was anything here that was red, that's the thing I would need to fix. So uh, we did all of these things right. Uh, everything's green. You can't do any better than that. And then let's see, we've got readability. So Google likes simple things, uh, short sentences. They like you to use tie-in phrases, which would be things like as a result, or you could say consequently, and this is how they want you to begin your next sentences. If you don't do that, they think it's a bunch of individual sentences that don't really make sense together. Now, the one thing I didn't do so great is passive voice. It says 18.2% per of sentences contain passive voice, which is more than the recommended maximum of 10%. So I could change that one thing and we'd be doing even better. So anyway, once I added that title and I added my, my key phrase, then I was ready to um, go on and click update at the top. And then I was able to go to edit with Elementor and add in all of those things the way I want it. So now if you're not familiar with Elementor, I'm going to go to posts. I'm going to click add new. And here, here it is. So we're starting with, um, with this, with nothing here. So if I wanted to make a new blog post, I'd have to give it a title. So that might be
So if that's my title, then you can be certain that is the thing I'm trying to rank for. It's going to be the title. So I'm going to put that. Now it shows a red unhappy face here, meaning my, um, my SEO isn't very good. Well, it shouldn't be. I haven't done anything yet. So here it creates a title for me, best CBD available, and then it puts the company name. So I could put a slash here, or a hyphen, I mean, and then put... So it's similar, but not the same. And then I've got to begin with best CBD available. So there's my meta description. When this line went from orange to green, that tells me I've got it the right length. And now my SEO looks um, not red, but orange. So I'm already improving. So now what I would do, if I was actually going to add this, I would click publish. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yeah, wait. I think I forgot something right here, the featured image. That's the image that appeared up at the top of the page. So I'm going to put in this just to have a picture there. And now the alt text is what I need to um, make my, my um, key phrase that I'm trying to rank well for. What was it? What did I say it was? Best CBD available. Okay, I, I could actually just copy that and then go with featured image. I'm selecting this product and I'm going to put best CBD available and then set featured image. And now it says my SEO is okay. And I've only done these three things. I put in a picture. I added a, a title that's the proper length. I added a description that's the proper length. Now for the fun part. So now I'm going to publish that. Are you sure? Yes. And so now it's published. And now I can go to edit with Elementor. And this is where I can add those other things. So now it's got that. And it's ready for me to add things. So I'm going to add, go to basic. And it gives me these choices, and this is where I might add something like a text editor. So I just drag it over, drop it in, and it shows some fake text there. And now I don't change it here in the middle, I change it here on the left. So right at the beginning, in the first sentence, I want to use my keyword phrase again. And I'm going to click Update. And then if I wanted to do something else, I could go back to, oops, back to uh, here, Basic again. And maybe I want to add a a picture in here somewhere. So I drag that over, drop it in here, and now I just click the edit pencil in the top right. Or actually it's over here on the left, it's always on the left, and I choose an image. So I would add some image here. And so I'm just adding that for no particular reason. So there it is, and I could keep doing this. I could just go back to here, go to basic, add maybe a heading, and just keep going. And every time I click update, it updates 
that page and it's immediately live when I do this. So for now, I am done with this. I'm just gonna um, trash this page because it would actually be published, but that's how you do it and that's how you get the top results. And uh, one more thing before we end, we're gonna go back to, we're gonna go back to the, the page uh, here, this one the regular edit page, not the edit with Elementor page. And we can look here at SEO analysis and we see some things that it wants. It says the text contains 13 words. This is far below the recommended minimum of 300 words. So I've got to do some writing. And then key phrase in the subheading, use more key phrases. Uh, there's no internal link. So it wants me to link to some other page within this website and then an outbound link. You could link to some other website. It could be anything. Like we could say, do some research about how CBD is tested. And we link to maybe the company that does our testing or something else. So uh, Google likes to see an outbound link, an internal link, um, extra headings, and at least 300 words of text. Of course, more text is better, but at least 300 words would be good. And then on readability, it's saying, hey, you did good here with all of these things. Well, I've only got 13 words, but so far it likes them, but there's no transition words. So this is where I would say, consequently, and I continue with my next sentence, or I would say as a result, or I would say naturally, or I'd say additionally, any of those to lead into the next sentence. That's what Google likes to see.